year is 2008, and the world teeters on the brink of war. Radical ultra-nationalists have seized power in Moscow. Their goal, the re-establishment of the old Soviet Empire. Ukraine, Belarus, Kazakhstan. One by one, the nearby independent republics slip back into the Russian orbit. Russian tanks sit in the Caucasus Mountains and the Baltic forests, poised to strike to the south and east. The world holds its breath and waits. For one small group of elite soldiers, the war has already begun. U.S. Special Forces Group 5, 1st Battalion, D Company. Deployed on peacekeeping duty to the Republic of Georgia in the Caucasus, this handful of Green Berets represents the very tip of the spear, the first line of defense. Equipped with the latest battlefield technology and trained in the latest techniques of covert warfare, they strike, swiftly, silently, invisibly. They call themselves the Ghosts. Welcome to Tbilisi, gentlemen. Hope you got some shut-eye on the flight from Bragg, because now that we're here, we got a lot of work to do. Here's the situation. We've been deployed at the request of the Georgian government to help them deal with rebels on their Russian border. Our area of operations will be the South Ossetian Autonomous Region, 1,500 square miles of small villages and rugged backcountry. The Ossetians have been skirmishing with the Georgian army for years, but lately, the attacks have escalated to the verge of all-out war. Washington thinks that the Russians have engineered the current flare-up as an excuse to step in and annex the whole region. Our job is to cut the legs out from under the revolution before that can happen. Our first mission is a raid on a rebel base in the Caucasus Mountains. A rebel leader named Bekor Papashvili has been attacking army convoys across the Terek River. You'll need to take out his guard post first, then hit his main camp. You'll find Papashvili in the caves at the top of the hill where he set up a command center. Take him alive if you can, but remember that he won't surrender unless all his guards are eliminated.
Peace history. Thank you. 
Goodbye. East history. Prisoner secured. Goodbye. We've arrived. Kill confirmed. Geese history. Geese history. Enemy down. We're gone.
We're gone. search and rescue. The Navy's been flying sorties against rebel positions from its carrier battle group in the Black Sea. Last night, the bad guys got lucky with a SAM and took out one of our F-18s. The pilot and the weapons officers both bailed out before impact, but the rebels picked them up shortly after they activated their beacons. They're being held for interrogation at a farm near the crash site. Your job is to go in and bring them back out alive. Recon photos show the F-18 is still largely intact, but heavily guarded. If it's possible to plant a demo charge and blow the plane, do it. But don't jeopardize your main mission. And try to minimize Ossetian casualties. The Russians are already making a big stink at the UN about us being here, and we don't want to give them any more ammunition. If Moscow decides to intervene, we're going to find ourselves smack in the middle of a major war.
That's good. Going to night vision. Fire at will. Moving 
coming out. Confirmed. We've arrived. Hostage secured. New medic. Uh. Man down. We have a casualty. Ah. Enemy down. Ah. 
Hostage secured. We're on the way. Look out!
another kill. In place and ready. Another kill. Word just came down from HQ, gentlemen. We have official confirmation that at 0600 hours, three Russian armored divisions crossed the border and linked up with the rebel forces in the north. The Russian foreign minister has issued a statement condemning international meddling in regional affairs. Looks like we got ourselves a full-scale international incident. For now, the U.S. is still backing the legitimate Georgian government. Our orders are, quote, to aid the Georgian army's defensive operations in any way practical. Short and sweet, that means we've got the green light to blow stuff up. First priority is to slow down the main armored column headed for Tbilisi. We've identified an ambush point about 60 clicks west of here, where the highway crosses under a rail line. A Georgian command post is nearby. If it's overrun, their entire western flank will collapse. Take out the Russian advance patrols first, then the tanks. And keep your demolitions expert undercover until you need him. Those tanks aren't going to be stopped by anything less than a rocket up the tailpipe. Fear. Weapons free. On our way. Confirmed. 
We got wounded. Lost a man. He's history. Goodbye. kill. Another kill. 
Enemy down. Enemy down. Another kill. On our way. <laughs> Man down. We have a casualty. We're done.
Enemy down. We're gone. Scratch another one. In place and ready. Goodbye. Another kill. He's history. Georgians have stopped the Russians temporarily, but they're not going to hold out for long. The president and his cabinet have already fled the country to set up a government in exile. We're in country only for as long as it takes to get the rest of our people out safely. HQ just got a radio call from a couple of Brits up near the village of Amida. Their transportation broke down and they're cut off from the Georgian lines. We're sending you in by chopper to open up an escape route for them. You'll need to move fast. In their last message, they said they thought they'd been spotted by a Russian patrol. Remember, the blue helmets are the good guys. No shooty blue. Got it. Full throttle. Keep weapons free. Shakes. 
Enemy down. In place and ready. Another kill. Another kill.
another kill. Another one. 
We're gone. In place and ready. History. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. Intel says Russian troops have reached the city limits. The rest of our people have already been evac'd. You gentlemen are the absolute tip of the dachshund's tail. The Navy is running a shuttle between our embassy and the USS Ronald Reagan out in the Black Sea. Two hours from now, the last Seahawk will leave the embassy's roof. You'd better be on it. On the way there, there's one thing we want you to check out. The Russians brought down one of our Seahawks on the last run. Hit it with a man-portable SAM before it reached the embassy. It crashed in a park just north of your position. We haven't received any communication from the crew. No voice, no beacon. Probably there are no survivors. But your orders are to check out the wreckage and make sure. Be on the lookout for Russian patrols, and watch out for Georgian civilians as well. There are plenty of refugees in the streets, and we want to keep collateral damage to a minimum. The sooner that chopper gets here, the better. Couldn't agree more. We're on the way. Enemy down. Scratch another one. We've arrived. Scratch another one. Enemy down. Another kill. Scratch another one. We're rolling. Scratch another one. In place and ready. Enemy down.
our way. We're gone.
arrived. In position. Ease history. Goodbye. President Arbatov just appeared welcoming the Republic of Georgia into the new Russian Democratic Union. Of course, no one's recognizing the annexation. The Georgian government in exile issued a strong denial from their offices in Geneva. And the U.S., Great Britain, and Germany have all publicly condemned the Russian invasion. But all the talk in the world isn't going to budge those tanks in Tbilisi. The big boys are convinced that Arbatov and his generals are engineering another intervention. Satellites have detected major troop movements on the Baltic coast near the Latvian border. Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia were all part of the old Soviet empire, and bringing them back under Moscow's control has been part of the ultranationalist agenda for years. We're sending you in to gather intelligence about the coming attack. The Russians have set up a command post at Izborsk, an old medieval fortress a few miles from the border. Your mission is to infiltrate the post and recover any documents describing the Russian battle plans. Watch out for patrols. There's been a lot of troop movement along the road. There's also a comm station inside the castle. Don't let the garrison radio for help, or you'll have a major firefight on your hands. One final twist. There's a mobile SAM site nearby. Reconnoiter, and if it's lightly guarded, take it out with rockets.
Welcome to Russia, comrade. Everybody get your passports ready. Weapons free. Weapons free.
Another kill. But they're close.
We got a casualty. He's history. Another kill. Another kill. We're on the way. Scratch another one. casualty.
two shakes. Bad news. The Russians went on the offensive in the Baltics this morning, three days ahead of schedule. Satellite images show two main thrusts, one along the coast to Tallinn and the other straight past Izborsk to Riga. Senior command is trying to field a defensive force from our bases in Germany, but they need more time, and we're the ones who are going to provide it. Your mission is to blow the bridge where the Riga Highway crosses the Lubana River. This will seriously damage the enemy's ability to bring forward reinforcements and will slow their advance dramatically. Plant demo charges on both of the main pillars of the bridge, then clear out to the extraction zone. Don't try to engage the primary force guarding the bridge. They'll eat you for lunch. But use your own judgment on the Russian camp near the river. If it's lightly guarded, take it out. It'll only add to the disruption. Two shakes. 
Kill confirmed. Goodbye. Kill confirmed. Got armor. Goodbye. Got a tank. He's history. He's history. Grenade! Kill confirmed.
casualty.
Division has managed to stop the Russian advance, but just barely. We've got reinforcements coming up from the coast, but they won't be here until tomorrow. Right now, the situation is very fluid. If the Russians resume the attack before we're ready, we're not sure our line will hold. The main concentration of Russian troops in this sector is near a little Lithuanian village named Venta. They've set up mobile artillery in the hills nearby and are using it to shell our position here. Your mission is to go in and take out that artillery. The chopper will drop you at an abandoned farm just west of town. It's unlikely that your arrival will go undetected, so you'll need to establish a defensive perimeter quick, or you'll be overrun. Once you're in place, HQ will launch an attack down the main road. Hold the farm until you see our tanks, then link up with them and proceed into the village. Clear out the village, then proceed to the artillery batteries in the hills. One anti-tank rocket apiece should do the job.
We're gone. Grenade! confirmed. Man down. <laughs> 
following your lead. following your lead. Right behind you. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. We got a casualty. just south of Riga. First Armored is prepped to launch a major offensive as soon as the weather clears. 
We're sending you in now behind the Russian lines to disrupt communications before the attack. Your target is a Russian listening post on the border between Lithuania and Latvia. They've set up their equipment in the middle of a swamp, so you're going to have to get your feet wet. There are three main islands you'll need to clear. We think the listening post itself is on the eastern island, but we want you to sweep all three to be certain. Try to capture the commanding officer alive if possible. He might have valuable information about the Russian defensive strategy. See them, they can't see us. I'm not going swimming. I'm not going swimming. I'm not I'm going, going swimming. swimming. I'm not going swimming. swimming.
Goodbye. Goodbye. Peace history.
Another kill. First Armored won major victories at Utena and Rezekni, and the Russians are falling back on all fronts. One final push, and they'll be out of the Baltics for good. Where it is, the Russian military brass is taking the defeat hard. They're blaming President Arbatov and the other political leaders. There just might be a coup brewing. We're sending you in to Vilnius, the Lithuanian capital. The Russians have held it since the first week of the invasion, and it's been the site of some significant action by the Lithuanian underground. The place is practically in ruins. You'll be escorting a tank column into the heart of the old city to liberate what's left of the presidential palace and some other key locations. As the Russians learned in Grozny, sending armor into an urban setting without proper infantry support is suicide. The remaining Russian troops have their backs to the wall so they're not going to go down without a fight. Watch out for snipers and anti-tank rockets fired from the shelter of the ruins. And as always, try to keep civilian casualties to a minimum.
In place and ready.
Goodbye. Another kill. In place and ready. Enemy units pulled back across the Latvian border sometime yesterday afternoon. Public support for the ultranationalists has dropped like a rock, and there are rumors that the military has President Arbatov under house arrest. Looks like things in Russia are turning ugly fast. Your next mission is a simple rescue. Ten days ago, two U.S. soldiers were taken prisoner when their Humvee was ambushed near Ludza. They're currently being held at a POW camp in Russia. Normally, Washington would let them sit out the duration, but one of them is a senator's son. Your job is to go in and bring them out alive. Security is tight. Searchlights around the perimeter, well-armed guards inside. Don't try to shoot your way in. You'll never make it. Go in quiet with silenced weapons, secure the guard post, locate the soldiers, and get out. And while you're there, be on the lookout for one other prisoner, a guy named Moroshkin. Supposedly he's being held in the infirmary. HQ says that he's some kind of major dissident and that springing him would make more trouble for the ultranationalists in Moscow.
think they're expecting us? Probably baked us a cake. We're gone.
Another kill. position.
goodbye. Confirmed. He's history. Got the cargo. Confirmed.
Russia is falling apart. Arbatov is dead. As far as we can tell, executed by the military as a scapegoat for the fiasco in the Baltic. Most of the country is under martial law, with soldiers patrolling the streets and curfews enforced in the major cities. It's unclear how much support the ultranationalists really have in the military. There are widespread reports of soldiers refusing to fire on civilians or even to leave their barracks. Our goal is to whittle down the base of support for the leaders of the coup. As a result, we're launching a series of covert raids against key military bases that are backing the ultranationalists. Your first target is a naval base at Murmansk. It's the headquarters of their northern fleet and a major operations center for their submarine service. Take a demolitions expert and blow the sub pens and any other targets that appear promising. You'll have to move quick. Once the alarm is raised, base security will be all over you. Good luck. You're going to need it. History. In position.
goodbye. History. In position. He's history. Goodbye. 
victory. Another kill. like civil war. The centrists in the government and the military have formed an alliance against the ultranationalists. We're getting reports of Russian on Russian fighting from Smolensk to Vladivostok. We're continuing our strategy of raids against military bases that are backing the coup. Your next target is the airbase at Archangelisk. It's the test site for both the S-37 Burkut, a new experimental fighter prototype, and the Ka-50 Hokum, Russia's next generation attack helicopter. Your objectives are to plant demo charges in both the Burkut and Hokum hangars, as well as completely shutting down operations in the control tower. Intel indicates that security at Archangelisk is light. Apparently there's been a sharp increase in the number of desertions since the coup. So don't worry about trying to finesse your way in. Based on our analysis, the best approach is a direct frontal assault. Hit them hard and fast and get out as quickly as possible.
gates unguarded. Maybe they all went home. Fire at will. Keep weapons free. We're on the way. History. Position. Kill confirmed.
kill confirmed. Confirmed. history.
Goodbye. Kill confirmed. Early reports indicate that the centrist forces are stalled in their fight with the ultranationalists. Popular support for the ultranationalists has withered away to practically nothing. They lost all legitimacy when they executed the president. But they still control a sizable chunk of the military. Acting Prime Minister Karpin has privately requested a NATO force to help the loyal Russian troops crush the coup. First Armored Division has already crossed the Latvian border and is headed for Moscow. Satellite images show the main ultranationalist force massing near Torapek about 200 clicks east of our current position. Your mission is to link up with them and spearhead the assault. Expect extremely heavy resistance, armor, spetsnaz, the works. You'll need to take both passes through the mountains and hold them against all rushing counterattacks. But if we achieve a breakthrough here, the coup is finished.
Be there in two shakes. Confirmed.
kill confirmed. He's history. see U.S. troops fighting in Red Square on behalf of the Russian people. This is the final showdown, gentlemen. The ultra-nationalists hold the Kremlin and not much else. We're going to finish this thing right here. First order of business is a squad of U.S. troops pinned down just to the east of your current position. Make your way through the medieval quarter, eliminate any resistance you encounter, and relieve those GIs. From there, head south through the gum department store to get to Red Square. The street will be full of refugees, so watch your fire. Remember, that we're here as liberators, not as conquerors. Red Square is heavily defended. Be prepared for armor. There's almost no cover, but fortunately the snow should cut visibility and give you an advantage. Now get out there and do your job. Let's win this one and go home.
Kill confirmed.
another one. Another kill. One piece of Russian scrap. In position. Another kill. Grab another one. Another kill. Another kill. Another kill. Another kill. This is the Horn of Africa, gentlemen. I hope you like it, because we're going to be here a while. This is our situation. We're going in as part of a multinational force operating at the request of the Eritrean government. It seems that one of the ways our friends back in Russia bankrolled their coup was selling surplus weapons. Cheap. A faction of the Ethiopian military led by a certain Colonel Tesfaye Wolde was one of their best customers. Once they got their arms, Wolde and his supporters made their move overthrowing the legitimate government and then making a push for the Red Sea coast. 
Right now, they own everything on the water south of Misawa, and they're rolling up the Eritrean army as they head north. We're here to do something about that. In order to leave some kind of infrastructure intact, the Eritrean government has also requested that we try to preserve as much of the local architecture as possible. That means that your unit is going to be getting a lot of work. Your first mission is to secure a radio transmitter on the beach north of Masawa. The beach is guarded lightly, but the approach up the bluffs that the station's sitting on is another story. Clear the beach first, then work your way up to the heights and take that transmitter. Once that's in hand, clear out the machine gun nests guarding the beach approaches. If you can, clear the area of all hostiles. The troops following you will appreciate it. Anyone got a beach ball? No fear. Fire at will, on our way. Goodbye. Goodbye. Kill confirmed. Goodbye. 
Open up. Goodbye. history. We're gone. In position. He's history. In place and ready. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. He's history. We're gone. Be there in two shakes. Goodbye. Goodbye. In position. Kill confirmed. He's history. It looks like we have a rust job on our hands. We're making good progress in the push for Masawa itself, but the Ethiopian forces have adopted a scorched earth policy as they fall back. Their latest target is the refinery complex just outside the city, one which Eritrea desperately needs intact. Recon reports that the Ethiopians have already leveled part of it, however, and they're in the process of planning the charges that will destroy the rest. We can't allow that to happen. You'll be approaching the refinery from the south. Move in, secure it, and deal with the squad planting the demo charges. We've also heard that some members of the refinery staff were taken hostage, back when the invaders thought they were going to be operating the refinery themselves and needed expertise on hand. Find the survivors still being held hostage and extract them along the rail line that links the complex to the main track grid. Again, if you can, eliminate all of the enemy forces on site. However, rescuing the hostages and the refinery is more important.
Kill confirmed. Goodbye. Kill confirmed. Got him! Kill confirmed. We've arrived. Goodbye. He's history. He's history. We're on the way. Confirmed. We're gone. Got him! Goodbye. He's history. Kill confirmed. He's history. Goodbye. Grenade! Got him! He's history. He's history.
victory. Kill confirmed. Confirmed. The invasion force is bringing in most of its supplies by rail. Our next goal is to put a stop to that. The first step is going to be seizing a depot along the main rail line that runs to Djibouti. Normally, we just take it out with airstrikes but they've parked a SAM launcher on the heights above the depot, and that needs to be taken out before we can send in the flyboys. We have gotten some satellite reconnaissance that tells us there's a tent encampment near the SAM site. You need to clear that out as well, otherwise taking out either the SAM launcher or the railroad depot is going to be tricky. The final objective is the depot building. Take it as quickly as possible. We believe that there's important intel in there relating to the supply lines for the Ethiopian troops. They're sure to try to destroy it once they realize what's going on. Confirmed. history.
this history.
victory. This one's a little different, gentlemen. We've been tapped to do a good deed. As you may know, the coup in Addis Ababa coincided with the worst droughts they've had in 20 years. The pictures aren't making the news back home, but rest assured that there are a lot of starving people in the interior, on both sides of the border. Making it worse, local warlords with ties to the new government have taken to hijacking the relief trucks and stealing or destroying their contents. As a result, a coalition of international relief agencies has asked for military escorts for supply caravans heading for the refugee camps. You'll be handling the first run. You'll be escorting a small convoy of four trucks to the refugee camp near the western edge of the Denikel Desert, territory that's technically across the Ethiopian border. Furthermore, we've spotted a band of Ethiopian irregulars sitting across the logical route to the camp. They're most likely going to try to disable the trucks and make off with the supplies. Preventing that is your mission. Making sure they don't ever bother anyone else would be a bonus. The route the convoy will be taking moves through an old riverbed, a perfect ambush point. Make sure all of the trucks make it through in one piece. Get up to the high ground and take out any of the patrols with rocket launchers who are waiting to poach those supplies. If you can wipe out the entire enemy force, so much the better. But the most important thing is to get those trucks through the riverbed in one piece. Clear them off the high ground. History.
history. East history. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. We have a potentially delicate situation on our hands. Officially, once Washington shut down the SR-71, we haven't had a high-speed manned reconnaissance aircraft. Unofficially, it's called Aurora, and one just went down deep in the heart of the Denikil. We need to destroy the wreckage before the locals get their hands on it. The last thing we need is for whatever's left of our classified aircraft to go on the international auction block with Colonel Walday banging the gavel. The good news is that the region's been blanketed under a sandstorm until recently. That means that the Ethiopian troops in the area haven't had a chance to salvage the wreckage. Our best estimate is that there are three significant chunks of the Aurora left scattered along the length of a dry riverbed. Find them and plant charges on each. They'll be detonated 30 seconds after you plant them, so move quickly. You'll also want to take out the Ethiopian outpost nearby. We don't think that they've managed to salvage anything, but it never hurts to be sure. Take the site and then get out of there. Return to your insertion zone for pickup. Assuming the weather stays clear, the choppers will be there in a hurry. There's also a small supply dump in the area. If you can take it without too much risk, do it. Be warned, though. Enemy light armor's been spotted in the area. It's been immobilized by the storm, but now that the weather's cleared, you're likely to run into it, and sooner rather than later. says it went down along the riverbed.
Charge set. Charge is set.
We've arrived. We're rolling. Kill confirmed. He's history. He's history. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. Gentlemen, let me introduce you to Ashanafi Abate. He's a local strongman who used to be based out of the area east of Wickrow. However, He's also an old friend of Colonel Wolday's and has now set up residence in a ghost town outside of Adikiai. He and his command are your target. As the Ethiopian troops fall back, they're leaving something behind. Landmines. Not only do they slow our advance, it's highly unlikely that we're going to find and detonate them all. And that means they're going to be providing unpleasant surprises for the local populace for years to come. Your first priority is to recover the maps of the minefields that are being laid. A body's in charge of this section of the project, and he's keeping them in his field HQ in a box canyon northeast of the town. On the opposite end of town is a motor pool tucked into a junkyard. You'll want to disable all of the vehicles there as well. Then you get to go after the big prize, Abate himself. If Abate's not in the field HQ, he'll be in a house he's commandeered on a hill just outside of what's left of the town. He's dug in there, with a trench network defending it, and his troops are positioned all through the wreckage. You're going to go in there and drag him out. Once you've got Abate in hand, head for the pickup point. It's located in the ridges to the south of town. messy down there. You can fire Weapons at free. will. Be there in two shakes.
We're here. Kill confirmed. East history. Got him! 
Northeast history. Secured. In position.
good news and some bad news. The good news is that we have a reformed column of Eritrean infantry advancing along one of the major north-south roads from Asmara to Adigrat. The bad news is that the Ethiopian commander in the region is a damn sight more efficient than your friend Abate and has prepared an unpleasant surprise along their route. He's got a roadblock thrown up across the route, with his troops dug in on both sides of it and holding a fortified position on the heights west of the road. Furthermore, He's parked his men right next to a field hospital, which means you'll be doing this without air support. The last thing we need is all the cable news networks showing endless reruns of us accidentally blowing a hospital to smithereens. You need to take that roadblock. To do that, you're going to need to clear out the trenches on either side of the road leading up to the obstruction and take out the encampment on the heights as well. If they've got any vehicle support, neutralize it. Then proceed along the road to the west. Don't worry about stragglers. The troops coming in behind you will handle the mop-up work. Confirmed. History. Kill 
confirmed. Kill confirmed. I'm hit! Oh. Taking some hits.
Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. history.
This, gentlemen, is it. We've pushed the Ethiopian forces back across the border, and we've been in contact with the legitimate government in exile. With any luck, they'll be back in power shortly, and we can wrap this up. There's just one detail left to take care of. Colonel Tesfaye Wolde. Wolde has decided that the best way to salvage the current situation is to ride out with whatever armor he's got left in an effort to rally the troops personally. I'll leave the wisdom of that particular approach for you to judge, but you can't fault the man's guts. In any case, the column he's riding with is moving north. We're expecting it to hit a bridge over the Marib Wentz at approximately 1,100 hours, and you're going to be there to greet it. The column will be moving over a bridge that crosses a gorge near a series of waterfalls. You'll be going in downstream near a broad, shallow ford guarded by a few customs buildings. You'll want to secure that crossing immediately, then move into position to take out the tanks. The bridge is probably the best place to bottle them up and you'll definitely want to take out the infantry holding it before the armor gets there. If not, they'll link up and you'll be in a world of hurt. One more thing. The last of their SAM launchers is guarding the bridge as well. It's positioned to the west of the crossing along the route the tanks are going to follow. Take it out, and we can end this once and for all. Confirmed. 
Incoming armor. Take destroyed. In position. Moving out. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. As you know, gentlemen, we are here to help safeguard the first democratic elections Cuba's seen since before Batista took control. Since Castro's death in 2006, the Cuban people have had a succession of increasingly incompetent thugs in charge, and thankfully, that's going to change. The elections are going to occur in early May, and our job is to make sure that they go off without a hitch. 
What that means is that we've been volunteered to make sure the elements who want to bring back the bad old days don't get a chance to win the elections at gunpoint. Your first assignment is a basic contraband seizure. One of our patrol helicopters spotted a light cargo plane dropping a few suspicious-looking crates over an abandoned tobacco plantation. The chopper crew was able to drive off the men who were moving the crates once they landed, but they need ground support to do the job properly. Seeing as the troops trying to haul those crates off look a lot like the guerrillas who've been reported bullying voters in a few of the western cities, we're not taking any chances. Your orders are simple. You'll be inserted by helicopter on the plantation grounds. Once you're en route, the patrol chopper will peel off and leave the ground troops to you. Take control of the old plantation buildings first, as that's what the guerrillas are using for cover. Then, secure those packages by clearing out the troops around them. They'll probably make an effort to retrieve them once the helicopter leaves, so things will be happening in a hurry. Weapons free. Fire at will. Peace history. Peace history. Moving out. In place. 
Raised and ready. He's history. Goodbye. Look out!
confirmed. Kill confirmed. We've arrived. Goodbye. He's history. Kill confirmed. Scratch another one. We're gone. Kill confirmed. In position. He's history. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. He's history. In position. Goodbye. We're here. Earth. In position. Kill confirmed. Earth. He's history. We're here. Kill confirmed. He's history. He's history. Kill confirmed. He's history. Goodbye.
In position. Excellent work on the plantation, gentlemen. We were able to analyze the contents of those packages. As you might have suspected, they were chock full of guns. We don't know who dropped them off, but we do know whom they were intended for. The troops you ran across are part of the paramilitary forces that we think are linked to the FDG, one of the parties standing a candidate for election. Publicly, they're all about vote against the puppets of the American imperialists, but disavowing violence. Privately, they seem to be a little more aggressive than that. We've gotten reports that bands of these thugs have been going up and down the countryside, intimidating people into not voting and making things unpleasant for supporters of the opposition parties. The good news is, we've also managed to locate what we think is one of their training bases. It's up in the hills of Pinar del Rio, which means that getting a lot of troops there isn't easy. That's why you're going in. Your mission is to locate and neutralize the training camp. Take out the guard towers that cover the approaches, then seize the camp itself. Be careful. The troops inside may not be fully trained yet, but recon images indicate that there are a lot of them. Good. 
Kill confirmed. Peace history. Another kill. Scratch another one. 
Another kill. Scratch another one. Scratch another one. Scratch another one. As you probably know, the camp in Pinar del Rio you hit wasn't the only one the FDG was using. We've been hitting other ones as we find them. Unfortunately, they've started to hit back. An MV-22 with a full complement of Marines on board was en route to neutralize a camp up in the Sierra de los Organos when it was shot down. Apparently, the FDG's been able to get their hands on a good part of what used to be the Cuban Army's arsenal, since it looks like it was a good old-fashioned Russian SAM that took the MV-22 out. The terrain you're going into is steep, rocky, and difficult. It's also in the middle of nowhere, so anyone you run into is liable to be an FDG soldier. Your first priority, once you hit the ground, will be the survivors. Find any you can and get them to safety. You're also going to need to find the source of the SAM that took out the Osprey and eliminate it. Once you do that, we'll be able to send in a chopper and pick you up at the evac zone. However, until the SAM launcher is taken out, we're not going to risk another bird. If you can, pick up the USMC code books from the downed aircraft. We don't want those falling into enemy hands. Good luck, people.
victory. In position. Another kill. Enemy down. They must have gone east. We'll have to hurry.
I'm hit. Going. There's wounded here. We have a casualty. Scratch another one. They're close. Another kill. Friendly down. Another kill. They're close. Another kill. Friendly oh. down. Got a man down here. Enemy down. I hear something. We have a casualty. Enemy down. Scratch another one. I hear something. Scratch another one. Another kill. Scratch another one. They're close. Another kill. Got a man down. We're on the way. Scratch another one. Enemy down.
following your lead. We're gone. Another kill. Moving out. Scratch another one. Scratch another one. Another kill. Buckle up, people. You're going to Isla de la Uventu, a hundred miles south of the main island. 
Batista used it for political prisoners, but Castro turned it into a tourist trap. The beaches are nice, but half the island's still swamp, and guess what part you're going to be seeing. The FTG's got an airfield right in the middle of one of those swamps, on the western side of the island. They've been using it for weapons transfers. The plane that dropped off those packages you recovered on the tobacco plantation flew out of there, and to dabble in the drug trade. By shutting it down, we shut down one of their primary supply pipelines. You'll be inserted by boat on this one, so be prepared. Your two main objectives are the airfield itself and the ammunition storage dump nearby. Seize one, and then plant the demolition charges to destroy the other. After that, get out as quickly as you can. With the way things are going on the main island, we don't expect the airfield is heavily defended, but that's no guarantee. history. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. 
confirmed.
confirmed. Confirmed. They're shooting. In place and ready. Enemy down. Goodbye. Confirmed. Confirmed. 
Kill confirmed. It looks like morale starting to drop on the other side. We're still getting reports of FDG squads hitting villages on the western side of the island, but we're seeing more defectors every day. With the elections coming up in less than a month, this is a good sign. The biggest turncoat is a man named Esteban Ordonez, who until three days ago was a high-ranking official in the Priego presidential campaign. Priego's the FDG's candidate, and he's also the one calling the shots on the military side of things. Obviously, getting someone this close to Priego to switch sides is a tremendous break for us. The bad news is that we got a call from Ordonez about 20 minutes ago. It seems that his assistant figured out that he was going to turn and ratted him out. He ran for it with an armload of FTG documents, which he hid as soon as he was out of sight. Unfortunately, they caught up to him a few minutes later. We know this because he was literally on the phone with our people when they found him. We don't think he's dead, but that could change at any minute. Your mission is to rescue Ordonez and get those papers. Find where he hid the parcel, then find him and bring him back alive. Our first flyover of the region showed that they moved to BMP in, so you may want to take that out as well. Remember, they're not going to keep Ordonez alive much longer, so there's real-time pressure on this one. Best of luck to you, gentlemen. Now get to work. Another kill. On our 
our way. Goodbye. We got wounded. Scratch another one. Kill confirmed. Position.
Enemy down. Enemy down. In position. Enemy down. <coughs> Kill confirmed. Got the cargo. We're done. We're rolling. Fire at will. history.
history. Happy Election Day, people. We've got trouble. The polls don't open for another hour, but FDG sympathizers all over the country are already making a mess of things wherever they can. We need every available soldier out there safeguarding voting centers, and that means you get to go along on this one, too. You'll be going to one of the worst trouble zones, a coastal city called Cienfuegos. The FDG's got a lot of support there, and according to reports, they've gunned down people heading for one of the main polling centers. Your job is to go in and safeguard that voting center and make sure that people can actually get to it to vote. If they want to vote FDG once they get inside, fine, that's their choice. The point is to make sure they all get that choice. Safeguarding the polling center is your highest priority. There are FDG forces in the streets all around it, so you'll have to keep an eye out in all directions. There are also reports that civilians have been taken hostage by the FDG. If that's the case, find those hostages and get them out of harm's way. Finally, you'll want to locate and knock out the local FDG command post. Remember this. Safeguarding these elections is why we're here. Everything else is secondary. Let's do this right. Confirmed. 
Goodbye. They've opened up! He's history. Some heavy fire. Kill confirmed. These history. These history. Confirmed.
Goodbye. Goodbye. Saddle up. This is a hot one. It turns out the FDG's drug connection was stronger than we thought. Priego is essentially owned by Colombian interests, and by Colombian interests, I mean FARC. They were hoping that he'd assume power and turn Cuba into a depot for cocaine heading north into Florida. In the wake of the election results, that's obviously not going to happen, so Priego asked his bosses for help. They sent a few boatloads of their troops to reinforce the FDG soldiers, and that's what we have to deal with right now. The FARC troops are hitting the beach near Demas, and they're hitting it hard. We'll be able to get more troops there later, but right now, you're all we've got. 
Disable the vehicle column the Colombian troops will be using to get off the beach, then hold the beach itself. The FARC soldiers will have FDG reinforcements coming in, so be prepared to be hit by a second wave. Finally, seize the jetties and any supplies the enemy's placed on them. They've set up a makeshift command outpost complete with an automatic grenade launcher on one of the jetties. Make sure you take that out as well.
Diego's run out of allies and he's run out of room. We've rounded up most of the armed FTG supporters in the countryside and routed the FARC reinforcements. The big boys in Colombia have decided to cut their losses, which means that Priego's got nothing left. He's retreated to an old hilltop fortress in the Sierra de los Organos with the last of his supporters. You get the honor and the privilege of digging him out. The fortress is 1920s vintage, but it's situated on top of a steep hill and it's got well-placed external guard posts. Neutralize those guard posts and then take the fortress. Priego's inside with the best of his elite guards. They won't be easy to dig out, but we want Priego alive. Dead, he becomes a martyr, and that's the last thing the new Cuban government needs. Make sure he doesn't escape. There's a helicopter pad behind the fortress complex, so you'll need to make sure he doesn't make a run for that. If he gets away, this whole mess has the potential to start all over again. You know what you have to do, people. Now let's go do it.
Weapons free. Fire at will. We're on the way. Kill confirmed. East history. In position. East history. Moving out. Goodbye. East history.
Gentlemen, welcome to Colombia. The locals call this place La Combia, the crazy country, and craziness is exactly what we're up against. You may recall that our Cuban playmate had backing from one of the Colombian cartels. Well, it seems that the cartel isn't happy with the way things turned out in Havana, and they're flexing their muscles on the mainland. They've annexed a few other cartels and joined forces with one of the large rebel groups in the southern part of the country, and as a result, all hell is broken loose. There's a three-cornered fight going on between rebels, paramilitaries, and the government, and it's spilling over the borders into Ecuador and Peru. As a result, there's been a joint request from the regional governments for UN peacekeeping forces to come in and stabilize things, at least in the major civilian population areas. That's what everyone else on this mission gets to do. We, however, get a better assignment. Our target is the MFLC, the Movimiento de las Fueras Libres Colombianas which is what the group bankrolling the Cuban operation is calling itself these days. They're the head of the snake, and we get to chop it off. Once the leadership structure of the MFLC is destroyed, HQ is betting that things will settle back down in a hurry. That's the long-term goal. The short term is a bit less complicated. We've got a team of archaeologists in the Alta Magdalena region who refused to evacuate when the fighting spilled up that way. A team of Belgian peacekeepers went in to pull them out and promptly got ambushed. The survivors were taken prisoner, and we won them back. The good news is that we've located the MFLC encampment where the survivors were taken. Your goal is to neutralize that rebel camp, then find and liberate the prisoners. Be careful, though. The encampment backs up on a massive cave system, and we don't know how many fighters they've got holed up in there. <laughs>
Kill confirmed. Objective failed. Objective Objective failed. Objective failed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Objective failed. Objective 2 completed.
Objective 3 completed. Objective completed. Mission completed. Nice work in Alta Magdalena, people. Now we need you to take on another tough job. The Rebels have gotten their hands on a rail line leading down to the Cienega Grande. The MFLC is mounting a major offensive in that region, and this is their major supply conduit. They're running fuel, guns, and ammunition along that rail line, and that means we're going to have to take it out. The Colombian government isn't happy about this. They'd prefer to have an infrastructure left when all the shooting is over. But if we don't shut off the flow of guns to the rebels there, the government may not have a country left to worry about. You're going to be inserted in the lowlands, near a rebel base that sits right on the tracks. The terrain is swampy, with heavy plant cover and lots of opportunities for the rebels to set ambushes. The first order of business is taking out the guard post the rebels have set up on a road nearby. If you don't, the alarm will get raised and all hell will break loose. Once you've taken care of the sentries, plant charges and demolish those tracks. There's no way the MFLC will be able to repair the damage anytime soon. Once you've done that, you can head for the extraction zone, but my understanding is that HQ wouldn't be too upset if you managed to take out the rebel camp itself. Happy hunting, gentlemen. I'll see you when you get back.
Objective one completed. Moving out.
are gone. Objective 2 completed. We're gone. Moving out. Objective completed.
Lost a man. They're close. Kill confirmed. On our way. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Objective 3 completed. In position. Mission completed. That was a nice piece of work you did. You've turned off the pipeline feeding weapons into the north of the country. Now it's time to squeeze out the last few drops. Unmanned reconnaissance aircraft have pinpointed a railroad station on the fringes of the Tatakoa Desert region as something we need to be taking a look at. That's a part of the country where the rebels have been making significant inroads lately, and command thinks it's a good idea to start rolling them back. Our offensive starts with that railway station, and it starts with you. We've got good intelligence suggesting that a train full of weapons for MFLC fighters in the Magdalena Valley will be putting in at that station for offloading. Normally, we'd just send in a few choppers to take care of it, but the Colombian government is being very insistent that we not blow up any more of their valuable railroad equipment. That means you get to go in and take care of it personally. You'll insert near the railroad depot. Once you're there, seize control of the area to make sure the rebels don't bring up reinforcements along the rail line. With their backup cut off, the rebels will probably fall back to the warehouses where they've been storing the weapons. That's your second target. Get inside those buildings and blow those weapons caches. In addition, Intel says we've got an added prize. Francisco Lever, the MFLC regional commander for the whole of Northwest Colombia, is on site. We don't want you to take him out, however. Instead, slap a signal beacon on his chopper and let him run. With luck, he'll lead us right to all of his friends.
We're gone. We're gone. Moving out.
You do not have enough demolition charge. You do not have... You do not have an... Objective one completed.
Objective 2 completed. Objective 3 completed. Objective 4, mission completed.
There's no such thing as a simple operation anymore. This next assignment comes to us through the USDEA. They had a massive uptick in Colombian cocaine coming in through the West Coast, and they have a sneaky suspicion it has something to do with our friends in the MFLC. Before you get your knickers in a twist over doing the DEA's work for them, remember, this is how the MFLC is bankrolling itself. If we cut off their drug money, they're going to run out of bullets. Now, you may be asking yourself where we come in. The answer is simple. We've got good working data back from that beacon you slapped on the chopper in Tatacoa. HQ believes that our man Lever is sitting right on top of that cocaine pipeline, and now he's conveniently showed us where it is. So, you get to go in and shut off the flow of narcotics. Find out how they're shipping those drugs out and render it inoperable. While you're at it, make sure you ensure the safety of the civilians in the village Lever's using. We're the good guys here, and that means making sure that the locals don't get caught in the crossfire. Remember, our job is to save these people.
We're gone.
Objective one completed. Objective one completed. Objective 2 completed. Mission update. Francisco Lever has revealed that the drug shipments are transported via submarine. The docking bay is heavily guarded and you'll need his help to enter without alerting everybody. Escort him to the entrance and place a charge on the submarine. Press the start button to see your new objectives.
Objective 3 completed. Objective completed. Mission completed. Here's the situation. An unmanned recon flight has brought back some interesting images of a deserted harbor about 50 clicks south of El Valle. It looks like the MFLC has been using it as an entry point for weapon shipments. Drugs go out, guns come back in, and the fight continues. We've shut off the outflow of drugs, now it's time to cut off the weapons coming in. You'll be inserting by raft just down the coast from the harbor and making your way there on foot. The site is choked with sunken wrecks and abandoned buildings, which makes it a heaven for snipers. You'll also need to clear off the decks of the boats in the harbor. That's where the bulk of the enemy strength seems to be located. Just make sure your approach is slow and careful, or you're liable to get cut up quickly. Once you've gotten inside the compound, find the transport containers and rig them to blow. We don't want there to be anything useful left on the ground once you're done. Your last objective is probably going to be the hardest. One of the boats the recon plane spotted near the harbor was ID'd as belonging to Marco Abreu, one of the MFLC's top men. If he's still there, and we haven't seen any evidence to indicate he's left, then nab him. If we can get him to answer some questions, this whole thing may get wrapped up a lot sooner than anyone dreamed of.
right on top of them. Bye. 
history. Objective 3 completed.
Goodbye. Objective one. Moving out. In position. Kill confirmed. Objective 2 completed. Objective 4 completed. Mission completed. Army Intelligence has some good news for us. They've gotten Abreu to talk, and he's told them plenty. The most important detail he shared was the location of one of the MFLC's main encampments. Ultimately, we'll be taking the site out with airstrikes, but at the moment, it's too risky to do so. They've got an SA-13 SAM launcher parked smack dab in the center of things, and any choppers we send in are at risk. That means we need to tackle this one from the ground, and that means you. You'll be working in conjunction with a Marine unit as well. Coordinate with them and take out that SAM launcher first thing. Then, sweep through the camp and eliminate any resistance. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mission update. The Marines you had to reach moved out on their own and ran into some trouble. Your new objective will be to get the survivors out and finish the job they started. Press the start button in order to check your new objectives.
Kill confirmed. Objective two complete. Moving out. Moving out. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you. 
over here. Objective one completed. Mission completed. In position.
I have good news and bad news to report. The good news is that the MFLC is falling back pretty much anywhere we push them. The bad news is that we know they still have prisoners and there's a real worry at HQ that they'll kill the captives rather than let them be liberated. We're going to take that choice out of their hands. Abreu's given us the location of the prison where most of the captives are being held, and you get to go in and get them out. We're going to drop you in a chopper right in their laps, and when that bird hits the ground, you'll be under fire. Secure your insertion zone as quickly as you can. We'll have troops following up behind you, and we'll need a place for them to come in. But don't wait for backup. Once the attack starts, those prisoners aren't safe, so you'll need to find them as quickly as possible. Along the way, find the prison's armory and destroy its contents. Remember, this is a surgical strike. Let the men coming in behind you worry about the heavy lifting. Just take out that armory, find the prisoners, and get out. Someone else will do the cleanup. failed.
Uh, you do not have enough demolition. Objective one completed. Objective 2 completed. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Objective three completed. Objective completed. Mission completed. This is it, people, the grand finale. We've pinpointed the MFLC's main encampment, and once we take it out, this fight is over. Unfortunately, we can't just bomb it into powder. There's a twist, and it's a nasty one. A former rebel fighter in Cuba just came in out of the cold and told the government there that there are still sleeper cells in place all over the country. They're under orders to mount simultaneous widespread terror attacks unless they get a radio call telling them to hold. The only place we know the hold code is kept you guessed it, the MFLC's main base. We've already got some UN peacekeeper units dug in near there, and your first objective will be to help them out. Once you finish supporting their position, infiltrate the camp itself. You'll be looking for two things at first, intel documents with the stop code for the sleeper cells and the code that will let you read them. Your last set of objectives is the most important one, and they involve the base's radio tower. Find it, secure it, and get to the communication center so you can send out that hold code. There's always a rebel officer on duty at the comm center, and you'll need to keep him alive to send the signal for you. Once the signal's sent, you can blow the place to flinders, but make sure you send the stop code first. Otherwise, a lot of people are going to die, and all of the good work we did in Cuba will be undone. Good luck. Objective one completed.
victory.
history. In position. We're gone. We're here. We're here. Intel documents recovered. Now locate the decryption. He's history. Kill confirmed. They're close.
We're here. Goodbye. Confirmed. We're gone. These history. These history.
Objective two completed. Prisoner secured. The rebel officer has begun the transmission. The message has been transmitted. Objective four completed. Mission completed. 